Okay, for years, you know, we, we, you know, cholesterol had a bad name. Well, there actually is going to be a paradigm shift in determining whether cholesterol is bad or not. In fact, the Friedwald study that is on our, on our PowerPoint presentation basically says that the study that determined that LDL cholesterol was bad was actually flawed, and a lot of this information is now getting into the public's hands. Um, there's a book written called Lipitor, The Thief of Memory, about a, uh, written by a NASA flight surgeon named Dr. Grapevine that said while he was taking Lipitor, it really compromised his metabolism and caused him a lot of problems. My point is, is that, you know, cholesterol is only bad when it becomes oxidized, and that's from free radical damage, nutritional deficiencies, and, and really, the arteries become blocked in the body. Atherosclerosis happens for a lot of reasons. Elevated insulin, having thick blood, um, advanced sugar levels, low testosterone, low growth hormone, all these things, multiple systems, multiple metabolic systems of the body impact whether your arteries are going to be blocked, uh, blocked or not. And it's, it's not all about just lowering cholesterol. We know now that if you lower cholesterol, it could cause a lot of damage in some folks. Nathan Pritikin scared us away from fat in the 1960s. and We all think that fat's bad. Actually, essential fatty acids are needed to make up the lipid bilayer or, or, or the, the surrounding of every cell in the body. Cholesterol is needed to make all the hormones in the body. So if we get cholesterol too low, we can actually compromise um, multiple metabolic systems of the body. And, and the research is out there. We just sort of are packaged in it so, so regular folks can understand it. And as you see in this uh, PowerPoint presentation, there's other cholesterol testing that we can do now. We could actually fractionalize cholesterol down to, to different levels. There's a cholesterol marker called lipoprotein A that if you think of cholesterol like a big beach ball, lipoprotein A is a little small marble. That, that one is truly atherogenic. That definitely gets in and blocks the arteries and gets into the endothelial lining or, or the lining of the arteries to start to cause a blockage. So that's some of the interesting things that we could look at. We look at C-reactive protein and, and homocysteine levels all damage and cause blockages inside the arteries. And again, um, diet plays a role. Um, exercise plays a role, but you know, it's not all about just lowering your cholesterol. Because if everybody's biochemically unique, how could everybody have the same cholesterol numbers? No more medicine for the masses. This is not a one-size-fits-all disease. Now, treatments designed with you in mind. It's unbelievable. It really is. That it's just for you. From cancer to heart attacks to vitamins, should everyone have a personalized prescription? Due to the advanced testing, we're able to look at people on a cellular level. Targeted therapy. 